Two-factor authentication is an important security measure that adds an extra layer of protection to your online accounts. Without two-factor authentication, your personal accounts are vulnerable to attacks like phishing, social engineering, and brute force attacks. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to enable two-factor authentication for PayPal using Microsoft Authenticator. Before we begin, make sure you're logged into your PayPal account on your computer's browser. Once you're logged in, click on the gear icon in the top right corner of the screen and select Security from the drop-down menu. Scroll down to the two-step verification section and click on Setup. Here you'll see two options for setting up two-factor authentication. Use an Authenticator app and use a security key. Select Use an Authenticator app and click on the Set It Up button. Now let's switch to your smartphone. In your phone's app store, download the Microsoft Authenticator app. It looks like this. Open the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone and tap the plus icon at the top of the screen. Tap Other to set up the new account. Back on your computer, you'll see a QR code on the screen. Point your phone's camera at the QR code on your computer screen and the app will scan the code. Once the code has been scanned, a verification code will be generated in the Microsoft Authenticator app. Enter this code into the authentication code field on the PayPal website and click on Confirm. PayPal will then text you a one-time code to your phone to verify your identity. Click Next. Enter the code in the text message you received from PayPal and click Continue. And that's it. From now on, every time you log into your PayPal account, you'll be prompted to enter a verification code generated by the Microsoft Authenticator app. This added layer of security will help keep your PayPal account safe and secure. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Hit that subscribe button for more tips, tricks, and solutions involving all things tech. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we hope you found it helpful.